Hello there, morons. Welcome to another J News, the video show in which I introduce a Japanese news story and then give you some mini Japanese lesson. This one will, will be a very short Japanese lesson. Today's topic is one of those controversial topics that most people say, Victor, don't talk about it. You're going to get in trouble. This is the kind of topic that pisses off a lot of people on both sides of the ocean. I'm talking about the Nanking Massacre and the recent uh, scandal. Uh, there's a chain in Japan called the Appa Hotel. Let, let me explain. The Appa Hotel is a huge Japanese chain. And like in American hotels, you often have the Bible, uh, I suppose in Utah, maybe the Book of Mormon. In Hawaii, they had the Bible and the Book of uh, Buddhist Scriptures. In Japan, they have a little history book that, for some reason, denies the Nanking Massacre. And I don't know how long it's been there, but recently Chinese have discovered this book, and they've decided that they want to boycott. They, they protested, and they want to boycott the Apa Chain. The Chinese government has gone uh, so far as to ban the website, the Apple Hotel homepage in China. You cannot access it. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but China is notorious for denying its citizens a free internet access. Uh, for all those porn addicts in China, I, my heart bleeds for you. Um, but uh, seriously, uh, you can't, yeah, and they've also, China has also asked for tourist uh, groups to boycott the Apple chain. Now, one, until yesterday, Apa Chain was like, we don't care, fine. And some people posted that they think this is a way for the Apa Chain to subtly deny, get, get uh, cut down on Chinese tourists because there's too many. And this is all hearsay, and this is from you know, uh, gossip pages on the, blog, on, the, on, on the internet and from students who tell me that Apa Hotel is so, success, so, so successful that Japanese uh, tourists, Japanese guests cannot book rooms there because there's too many Chinese guests. So that this is a ploy by the Apple Hotel management to just clean clean house a little bit and you know make a little room for the for the local um, guests, the local tourists. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Of course. Anyway, that's basically the story. Uh, and if you don't know, uh, if you come to Japan, this is one. This is a weird thing. Uh, let me let me. How do I explain? This? Okay, back in. 1987, I was in Argentina, and every single person, pretty much, in Argentina sw would swear to me that AIDS was created by the CIA to kill black people. And everyone was convinced of it, and they thought that Americans are stupid, that we, could, we, we wouldn't believe this. We're just brainwashed people. So, basically the same thing is in Japan. Very reasonable people will tell you, will tell you that they would prefer, uh, uh, no, sorry message. Very reasonable people here in, in Japan, some of my students, very intelligent, very nice people, will tell you, no, I, we don't think the Nanking Massacre happened. We think the Chinese are liars. And of course, as you know, the Chinese uh, believe the opposite. And it's pretty much accepted that the Nanking did, did, Massacre did happen. But of course, in Japan, it's one of those things where a, a lot of reasonable people will say, no, I don't think so. I think it's bullshit. Or, or it happened, but it wasn't nearly as bad as they claim. However, it is in the history books. It is in the high school books. Um, I, I have high school students, and I, I've, see, I've seen it. And actually, one of my students, who's not a high school student, but her daughter, uh, it's in her te textbook. However, the article is very short. The, 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 it's just like half a page. So, A little bit like um, the um, um, American slaughtering of the Indians. You know, you don't see a lot of it in the American history books, but it is there. So, I'm sure every, every country uh, has their dark Deep, deep, dark, dirty little secrets. Anyway, that's basically the story. I'm going to look at this one article and go through it real quick, quickly. Uh, first of all, let's, we're going to concentrate on one word, okay? And you can tell me what you think about this, but let me concentrate on one word, which is the word Nanking Dai Gyakusatsu. Nanking, of course, is Nanking. Dai is large. Gyakusatsu is massacre. Together, we have the Nanking Massacre or the Rape of Nanking which is a much more uh, mercurial expression. Well, yeah, that really gets your attention. Anyway, that, that is the kanji, and that is how you say the Nanking mass Massacre in Japanese. Nanking Dai Gyaku Satsu. If you meet a Japanese person and you want to really start up a very controversial topic, <laughs> conversation, I, I would really implore you, do not bring it up unless you really want to get into something controversial or piss someone off. Uh, that's the, the first part of the lesson. La, la, the last part, oh, this is interesting too. The woman who is the the um, where is she? the woman who is the owner, the shachio of the company, looks like this. She's a very flamboyant person, and she's quite right wing. She supports. She has supported right wing candidates in the past. 
And that's what she looks like. She's quite infamous. She's a little bit like the Japanese Trump. You know, Trump is very, very flamboyant as a hotel owner, and she's also a hotel owner, though I don't think she's a uh, hotel builder, so to speak. Uh, but anyway, here's the headline here. Appa Hotel ga Nanking Dai Gyakusatsu Hitehon. So there is a book that denies the Nanking Massacre at the Appa Hotel. SNS de Enjo. So on Jap on Chinese uh, SNS or social network sites, uh, there have been flamed. People are really pissed off and just writing comments everywhere. Dosha wa Kyakushitsu kara. So Dosha, the same company, previous company, Appa Hotel, Kakushitsu uh, kara. Tekyo shinai. We will what? Kaku. Kaku. Not kaku. 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 Sorry, mispronunciation. Thank you. Kaku shitsu could be pronounced kaku. In this case, kaku. Kaku shitsu kara from the guest rooms. Tekyo shinai. We will not remove them. We will not re repeal. Basically, repeal or take back the books uh, from the room. And that's the update. But uh, but recently, that was until yesterday. Recently in Hokkaido, there is have, this is the Apple Hotel, they're everywhere. In Hokkaido, they're having Olympic Games. Where the hell did I put that? Uh, no. Asian Olympic Games. Asian Olympic Games in Hokkaido. And I don't know where that link went now. Just a second here. I had it ready. Now it's, oh, here we go. The Asian Olympic Games will be held in this hotel, in the Apple Hotel in uh, Hokkaido. But the Chinese Olympic Committee or whatever has says, no, we're not going to stay there because it's an Apple Hotel. And finally, Appa Hotel has relented and they've agreed to remove the books. So there you go. Uh, I guess in the end, the mighty yen is more powerful than your po political beliefs. Anyway, that's your story for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.